when you start AutoCAD, you'll reach this start screen on which you can see this get started column on which we have some frequently accessible tools like we can open the files, open a sheet set, we can get more templates online or we can explore some sample drawings. Also, we can open our drawing using some predefined templates from this drop down list or we can directly use this start drawing box to open the drawing with the default template. On this column, you'll see some of the recently opened drawings and you can change the preview of these drawings using these small tabs. So you can change it to big thumbnails or you can change it to the list view like this. You can also pin some of these drawings for their frequent access. For example, you can pin this 1.2 drawing. Also, let's pin this 1.4 drawing. So now, even when you open more drawings, these two drawings will always remain in the list and on the top of this list also. Also, we have some notifications related to our drawing. And here I'm connected to my A360 account that you can see here, my name and the email ID. You can log in if you're not connected here. And also you can see the ID at this point here. So now let's click on this push pin to remove it from our drawings. And now let's select this learn tab. And now we have some videos which can be used for learning about the new features or some of the content related to the AutoCAD. Also we have here the latest video from Autodesk and also some learning tips and other online resources that you can access. So I'll get back to this create tab and I'll start the drawing from this start drawing option. And here we are in the main drawing area. So now this main window of AutoCAD is divided into a couple of parts. Here we have this ribbon panel and this ribbon panel is divided into different tabs. Here we have this home tab, the insert tab, annotate, parametric and so on. Also, these tabs are divided into different panels. We have the draw panel, modify, annotation and other panels. We can expand these panels to access additional tools and also you can click on this push pin to make these panels sticky here. So even after removing the cursor, these panels will remain expanded. And if you select this push pin option again, when you remove the cursor, the panels will collapse. You can also move these panels. So you can click anywhere in this panel here and drag it outside if you want to move it just like this. And we don't have the draw panel here. Now we have it here. And if you want to take it back to the home tab, just click on this small icon that will return it to its rightful place. Currently, all of the panels are not visible in the drawing area and it will depend upon the resolution of your monitor. And if you want to show or hide some of the panels, you can simply right click on this blank area. And from here, you can select the panels. So go to this show panels and select the panels which are not checked. In this case, we have all the panels checked. So let's say that we want to hide utilities panel. So I'll click on this utilities and now we don't have that panel here. Now I'll go to this blank side again, right click, select show panels, select the utilities and now we have the utilities panel. In a similar way, you can also bring or hide tabs here. For example, we have home insert annotate parametric, but we don't have 3D tools or visualize. So let's click on this visualize. And now we have this visualize tab here. In order to hide this, right click on the empty space on any tab and select this visualize option again. And now we don't have it here. We also have here command line and all the commands that you will enter will appear here. You can expand this command line by clicking on the boundary of this command line and expanding it like this. So it will keep a record of all the commands that you will enter and you can always collapse it to its original position like this. You can hide this command just by clicking on this close icon. And if you want to bring it back, simply press control nine key to bring it back. You can also hide it using the control nine key. So I'll bring it back again in the drawing area. You can also hide multiple elements from the drawing area. So here we have this file tab. We have here the model tab and also these layout tabs. So you can hide these tabs. Also, we have here this navigation 
panel and we have the view cube so in order to remove or bring these visual elements you can go to the view tab and from here select the corresponding option for example we have here file tabs just uncheck this option to remove the file tabs also if you want to remove the layout tabs which are here click on this layout tabs and we don't have that layout tab anymore we can bring it back by clicking on these options similarly you can click on the UCS icon view cube or navigation bar to toggle their visibility for example here we don't have the navigation bar anymore and we also don't have the view cube now after turning this off and we can turn off UCS also so let's click on these icons again to bring them back in the drawing area on the top left we have this quick access toolbar on which we can place some of the tools which are frequently accessed so we have the save save as print undo redo and also the new and open in case you want to add more tools to this you can click on this down pointing arrow and select the corresponding option from this list so let's say that we want to add this properties or the workspace option so you can click on this workspace and here we have it now you can also add layers option from this AutoCAD 2018 version onwards so this is a new addition in the AutoCAD 2018 version you can add the layer drop down now on the quick access toolbar so I'll just turn off this layer as well as the workspace you can also search for commands from this application menu so click on this application menu or the application button and here you'll see a field now let's say that you want to locate a command on the UI of this AutoCAD so for that you just need to type its name so I'll type the name of the circle command and now here we have the results so in the first result we have it on home tab as you can see here the circle command is on home tab draw panel and the circle fly out so let's check it so here we have home tab draw panel and circle fly out and here we have the result so you can locate any command from AutoCAD on its UI or the user interface easily using that search field and if you want to know more about any command you can use this help field also so from this help you can access more information about any command in AutoCAD but you need to be connected to the internet in order to access this help or you can also download the help file for offline use using this drop down so click on this drop down and select this download offline help and install the offline help files so this was all about the user interface of AutoCAD in the next video I'll tell you about the navigation tools in AutoCAD